I've always been of the mind that good things can come in small packages, whether it's game consoles, laptops, keyboards, phones, or even YouTubers. Which got us thinking, while our full-size screwdriver has been a smash hit, selling over 100,000 units since we launched it last year, what if we could take everything that was great about it and put it in a smaller package? Introducing the LTT Screwdriver Stubby Edition. I'm so excited about this. Same beautiful spot gloss packaging, courtesy of the one and only Sarah Butt. Same card. I guess there's no reason to change it if it's still true. And there it is. The stubby version of the LTT Screwdriver in one of the four colorways that are going to be available at launch. The bits come packed separately in this little box, so make sure you don't throw them away. And there are a couple of differences that I do want to run through compared to the full-size driver. For comparison, I've got my Noctua edition of the full-size driver. It's identical other than the color of the plastics, and you can sign up for a notification for when this is coming on LTTstore.com. But the first one is obviously the total length. One of the biggest complaints we got about the driver is that it's so great that people want to take it with them everywhere, and a handful of folks have had it confiscated by the TSA, which doesn't allow tools over six inches long. This happens to be about seven inches. So the stubby driver might only hold half as many bits, but it shouldn't be confiscated by the airlines. There's a couple of other differences. One is, of course, the bit loadout. We heard your feedback that not many of you are using the Square or Robertson bits, and we also felt like if you want to get one of these out as a hex driver bit, then you're probably just going to get the hex driver set and decide which ones are most important to you. So what we went with was Philips 0, 1, and 2, which is about as big and about as small as you're probably going to go with a tool like this, alongside a size 4 and a size 6 flathead, and of course, our customary super strong magnet bit which a great demo for is the fact that it can pick up all the other bits combined. It's great for just like reaching in and grabbing stuff. Though, uh, should be noted you won't be reaching quite as far with this one. Speaking of which, let's talk about the stubby shaft because this was a huge point of contention internally. We went back and forth endlessly on whether we want to make it just smooth or whether we want to bring back our knurled finish because unlike the full-size driver, for which this is just a super comfortable and ergonomic way to start screws before ratcheting them and finishing them. On this one, it's a little bit tougher to get at, but we ultimately settled on, yeah, let's have it, because that way at least people will have the option and then they can always not use it if they don't want to use it. One of the other big changes is actually under the hood, and that's in the mechanism for the bit loader. While our bit loader feels and sounds, like it must be some kind of magnetic mechanism. It's actually using something called a taining pin for this super satisfying action. And that had to be significantly modified for a bit loader that is only half of the length of the original one. So that, along with designing and creating the new shorter handle mold, is the main R&D that went into this smaller version of the screwdriver. Which probably raises the question, well, gee Linus, why is it only $10 cheaper? And the answer is that it just plain costs just about the same amount as the original driver. The only difference in cost to us is that it has six fewer bits, although the most expensive bit is still included with the stubby, and it uses slightly less plastic, right, and slightly less metal. The actual machine time involved in creating this, running the molding machine, the actual assembly, the logistics, is pretty much the same. So. It's 10 bucks cheaper, but what that also means is it has exactly the same great selection feel. Oh, hold that click though. Almost like it was designed by keyboard and mouse enthusiasts, right? Exact same feel, the same satisfying ratchet with extremely low back force and the same quality that you've come to expect from us. There's a lot of people that criticize the quality of our driver online and um, then there's a lot of people who actually bought it and actually used it. Check out the reviews on the site. I think they tell the story a lot better than I ever could. The stubby will be available in four different configurations. Black handle with black accent. Black handle with orange accent. <gasps> black handle with orange accent and a black shaft. That's right, for what will probably be a limited edition. No promises, I don't know what will happen in the future. If we ever find a better finish that lasts forever, maybe we'll bring back black shafts on everything, but this is the same as the other ones, so that if you have 
a full-size black shaft, you can get a matching one, but we've got also those same two colorways in a black shaft. Of course, as the keen eyed among you might have noticed, that is not the only thing that I am showing off today. What are those? You see, at LTX, we did a cool little booth that was called the Build Your Own Screwdriver Booth, and people could assemble a screwdriver in any colorway that they wanted. But in order to accommodate people building in whatever colorway they wanted, we had to have excess inventory of every single color, more than people could possibly hope to use over the course of the two-day event, which got us thinking. <laughs> Why would we allow all these extra plastic parts in all these fun colors to go to waste? Well, we wouldn't. So we created for a limited time only, for now, what we're calling Solid Color Screwdriver. We really do have some work to do on our branding, but I guess it gets the point across well enough. It's the screwdriver, but in a solid color. We've got orange, purple, red, green, blue, yellow, pink, and we're gonna have these available on the site for a $20 upcharge because the process of creating them was quite manual and the cost of doing short runs of different colors is a touch higher for a limited time, basically while quantities last for now. This video is sponsored by MSI, who's running their back to school sale right now. Headed back to the classroom and need a laptop? MSI has got you covered. Or what about a desktop that's totally for school, I swear it. Guess what? They've got that too. If you're into building your own PC, they've got all the components that you need for that. Or if you've already got a system, hey, you can load up on peripherals like headsets, keyboards, and mice. So check out MSI's back to school sale at the link in the video description. Go, go, go. And head to lttstore.com to get a lollipop. Or wait, no, I mean, I mean screwdriver. But wait, there's more. Because the origin of these multicolored parts was the build your own screwdriver booth at LTX, we don't exactly have the same number of all the different parts in all the different colors. And because we're very waste not, want not around here, we came up with the idea. Thank you, Colin. Oh, wow, that's a lot heavier than it looks. Uh, sorry I had you holding that for so long. Of creating what we're calling the mystery driver. How fun is this, right? I mean, the possibilities are basically endless. And look. I know what you're thinking. Obviously, you would rather pick the colors if you could, but the problem is that for the number of these that we have, we can't justify the website development to create a screwdriver builder. Maybe someday, but not today. So for now, might I suggest that you reframe it as a feature, not a bug? You know, life's like a box of screwdrivers. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> so for the adventurous, Mystery drivers will be available alongside our solid color drivers as part of this drop. What do you think, Sebastian? I get to pick or random blindfolded driver? I think random blindfolded oh, driver. Okay. Andrew, I get to pick? Uh, no, not at all. Random. random. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to dig deep. I'm digging deep here. Okay. Okay. Don't give me a. Hey, 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 you can't laugh. You can't laugh. This is a serious matter. Okay. It'll be something like that. Now I need an end cap. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Let's show you guys how we're making these. At least I didn't get all red and yellow. A couple people built McDonald's drivers at LTX and I was like, really? Step number one is to apply lube to the inside of our bit holder here. That's where the taining pin, which is what gives the driver its satisfying pop sound, gets inserted. And it goes in a little something like so. Now we take our bit holder and our end cap, right, like so, and oh, fun fact, by the way, we had a lot of concerns when we were working on these colorful drivers that the plastics might not shrink as much or at a different rate, and that could hurt the finished assembly of the product. But in practice, not only were our molds able to handle all these different colors, as it turns out, the hot press assembly that we've been doing, where we take the freshly injected parts and press them together and then let them contract around, you can actually see these little uh, metal fins here. Turns out it's not actually necessary. We did all the same testing on the cold press drivers and found that the durability is identical. So we were worried that with the colorful limited run drivers, we were gonna have to have, you know, warranty caveats or something. <laughs> but as it turns out, it's all good. 
Oh, it goes in from this side. Look at that. Helpful instructions. Whoops. And that's it. My very own mystery driver. Now, half for fun and half to show you guys some of the absolutely wild color combinations that might show up. I'm gonna build four more drivers, sign the five that I built today and mix them in with the rest of the inventory. You don't get anything special. If you get one, you just have a signed driver, but maybe you care about that. Or maybe you don't. In which case, hey, isopropyl alcohol will remove Sharpie. It's amazing how fast the family is growing. You got the parents, you got the kids, you got the kind of colorful extended family. If yours is anything like mine, you'll know what I'm saying. It's the Splendid 7, available in seven different colors. That would be a better brand name than, what we call it, Solid Color Screwdriver? It doesn't matter, anyway. The point is, you can get them all at lttstore.com. Subscribe to Short Circuit.